The day before the competition was full of traveling, from Florida all the way to California. While waiting at the airport for my flight, I decided to practice and got some of the fastest Rubik's Cube blindfolded solves ever. Oh my god, that's WB Mina 3, what in the world? Now that I'm about to travel thousands of miles, I really want to get some solves like that in the competition. Off the plane, time to go find Calyx. This dude broke into my house. After breaking into his house, I decided to annoy him a bit while practicing. Oh, funny. <laughs> then we just did some last minute practice before going to bed. Good night, my friend Calyx. Good morning, my friend Calyx. Breakfast time. First, I got my name tag, which said which groups I would be competing in. The way this competition works is that there are three events. 3x3, 3x3 one-handed, and 3x3 blindfolded. If you make it to the final round in all three of them, you have the chance to become the tri cubalon champion. To become the champion, your final rankings in all the events have to add to the lowest number out of everybody. For example, if you got 2nd place, 4th place, and 10th place, your sum would be 16. Having traveled thousands of miles, I hoped to become the champion myself. But before competing even started for the day, I was met with a pleasant surprise. Signing cubes already. What's your name? Asher. Asher. Nice to meet you, Asher. Here you go. Before 3x3 round 1, which was my first event of the day, I did some quick warm-up. I'm just over here solving Rubik's cubes. This guy is like getting a job or something. Like, bro is, bro is on that grind. I'm tired. He's tired. I got a 625 in California. That's crazy. If you're confused about why I'm talking about the number 6.25 so much, it's because a cuber named Mitch Lane got a 6.25 official 3x3 solve back in 2013. It happened in California and was one of the best in the world, but super unexpected. Ten years later, he got the same time in a competition, and it remains his PR to this day in 2024. It's become a big meme among cubers, especially in the West Coast. Anyways, let's get back to the normal stuff. For 3x3, my best average in a competition is 6.38 seconds, so I was trying to get somewhere close to that in round 1. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> like, what's flying off? Okay. The dangerous score. Watch your eyes, everybody. <laughs> yeah. 3x3 three three round 1 did not go too great for me. My average ended up being even slower than 8 seconds, but I still made the next round, so I was still in the running for tri cube along champion. Alright, so 3x3 three three was kind of bad, but uh, we've got OH next, so let's start warming up. Time to submit my cube. For one-handed, my best average in a competition is 11.55 seconds. But that's actually really good for me, so I wasn't really expecting anything. The solves weren't anything notable, but it was enough to move on to the next round, so let's keep moving forward. Now for blindfolded round one. I had big goals this time around. Remember when I was solving at the airport? I was trying to replicate that performance in an official setting because back in September last year, Charlie Eggins destroyed my world record by getting a time of 12.1 seconds. I really wanted to get it back, but I had a lot of competitions that I kept messing up at. The best solve I got in round 1 is the one you're watching right now. Not enough for the world record, but definitely enough for first place and moving on to the next round. Let's take a quick break from all the competing stuff so we can have a lunch break and, you know, some nice random shenanigans. Pizza. I have to show the vlog the disgrace. So we've got this, I and mean, we've got this over here, and they have not been combined to make Chuck E. Cheese pizza, unfortunately. All right, hello, what's your name? Cassius. Cassius, sorry, right, what do you want to say to the vlog, Cassius? Uh, subscribe. Subscribe? Sounds good, thank you, thank you. I guess they're playing a movie at a conference. Oh, it's a commercial. Oh, it's probably the Super Bowl. Bruh. During lunch, the organizers had a special announcement that there would be free t-shirts in the other room. All right, lunch is over. Let's get back to solving and competing. With three sixes and a seven flat, I had the potential going into the last solve for a PR average. I needed a 6.27 or better, but what I really wanted was a 6.25 because I was in California. Round two. Um, the... Although I messed up at the end, I was gaining some positive momentum. I got second place in the round to one of the best 3x3 solvers ever, Max Park. It was less than half a second off my PR, and there were still semifinals and finals coming up. 
Next was one handed round two. I had a pretty bad start, but then this happened. Wrong did not scrambles. change the scramble sets for this group. <laughs> Dude, I did really bad. Celebratory. 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 We have to redo it. Redo it. <laughs> since they used the wrong set of scrambles for this group, we had to restart, which I was actually super happy about since my bad times from before would not count anymore. In fact, I actually had three really good solves to start out, and this was another possibility for PR average as long as I get one more good solve. Those fails were a bit annoying, but let's take another quick break from competing. I'm here with multi-blind world record holder Graham Siggins. Graham, you want to tell them your goals for this comp? Or your goal, I guess? I'm going to get an 18 minus 3. Alright, yeah. let's manifest that. To prepare ourselves for the next round of blind, we did some relays together. satisfied with that for now. <laughs> After these relays, I was feeling pretty good going into round two. So close yet so far, just 0 .05 from the North American record. And the other solves weren't anything too notable. We're over halfway through the competition, but still no personal records. Let's see if we can switch things up at all in the third round. <laughs> nice. In California, 625. <sighs> Nothing too notable and all that's left is finals. Things are getting pretty serious because now this round is going to contribute to my final standing for tri cubalon Champion. Despite that nasty U-perm fail at the end, I was off to a really good start to the final round. Just two more good solves and I could get a really nice PR average. Not quite a PR average, but still in pretty good standing for tri Champion, with a solid third place in OH Finals. By now the main goal on my mind was just to get a personal record in something. I traveled over 2,000 miles and I just wanted some kind of improvement to my profile to come out of this, but there were only 8 chances left. Three in blindfolded and five in three by three. And just like that, we're down to not eight, but seven chances left. The scramble on this solve is pretty good, so let's see what happens. I don't even know what to say. 12 flat world record three blind. I didn't know if I'd ever get another one since Worlds. It's been like six months. So. You owe it all to me? I owe it all to Graham Sagan. True, like Here five years ago. That's crazy. So. I, I'll, I'll, like, I'll like put some, some of those screenshots of the old messages take, on, the, on the screen here. I take uh, about 20% of what I do in this world. Found Just gotta verify that the scramble's correct so that we make sure the record can count. Now that I have not only accomplished, but far exceeded my main goal, everything from this point on was just a bonus. I really didn't care how this last solve went, since I had already gotten first place and there was only really one thing left to do, become the tri cubalon Champion. Actually first I need to find the piece I lost from my warm-up cube. Turns out it was in my pocket. And then in first place of the third record blindfolded event, with a single result of 12.00 seconds, and a new single world record is Tommy Cherry. Getting the world record was huge, but becoming tri on champion would be the icing on top of the cake. Let's see how 3x3 three three finals ends up. Oh, that's close. That's really close. That's good. Okay, perfect. Yay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's try again. <laughs> Okay, finished off the comp with a, it was probably like a 6.6, 6.7, 3x3 average. In second place of 3x3 three three with an average result of 6.61 seconds, Thomas Cherry. Please give a big round of applause for your 3x3 three three podium. 
We're doing some post World Decker signatures. Hello, everybody. Anything y'all want to say to the vlog? Congrats. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Is um, Tommy signing Way's rights? He doesn't yeah. know yet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Actually, <this> <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We have the tri q one event. It is calculated by taking the ranks of everybody in the finals and adding them together and seeing who has the lowest sum of ranks. And in first place in the tri q one event with a sum of ranks of six, Tommy Cherry. Yay! Please give a round of applause for your tri cubal on Bodia. Well, we've got one, we've got two, we've got three, we've got four, we've got five. Now that everything at the comp win is planned, let's go have some fun with cubers at dinner. Gonna see how far I can No, I'm gonna get blamed. We knew there would be cubes at the dinner table, but what we did not expect was that the restaurant manager knew how to solve a cube. And he solved it! Let's go! <laughs> Perfect! Nice job! To top things all off, Calix and I were driven back from dinner by the world-famous Kerry Huang. Alright, have a good night. Great, it's after midnight, which means after 3 a.m. Eastern Time. I'm starting to get pretty tired, but I still have not processed what an amazing day today was. Oh my god. doesn't know how to flip a banana. Show off. Show off. Although the next day it was unfortunately time to go back home, I had such a great journey back, because all I could think about the whole time was that I had finally done something I was trying to do for so long. Ch uh, chat, you, gotta, you guys gotta go comment down below, Calix is the GOAT, because this guy randomly brought up the idea of coming to this count to me. He made it, made it all possible. He must depart. Bye, Tommy. Until we meet again. From hanging out with friends to competing in what we all love, this will go down as one of my best weekends ever. Although the competition started feeling intense in the middle, everything changed for the better after that world record, and it was a reminder to me that with enough effort and perhaps a stroke of luck, your long-term goals can come to fruition. I can't wait to try pushing the record even further and possibly breaking the 12-second barrier. After all, I was just a turn away at a past competition. Bye, viewers.